Dennis Pleska is a filmmaker and commercial director, and I'm joining him today on a shoot that he's doing for Rosewood London. In the first episode of this little mini-series, he talked through his process of becoming an industry filmmaker, and in this episode, we're going to be talking through the process of shooting this commercial itself. Now, of course, I only joined him on one of the filming days, which is just a small slice of what goes into something like this. It ended up being probably about three to four days of pre-production. It was very much going for the meeting, discuss everything that the client wanted. They gave us the idea and then I had to come away and, and spend probably a day, day and a half of putting the idea together. The very first concept that I submitted to the client, they loved everything about it. Even from the words that we hear in the film, the actual voiceover, really very little has changed from concept one to the actual final film, which was amazing, which really doesn't happen that often. I spent probably about a Day, yeah, an entire day in storyboarding, uh, location recce, so that was half a day going, going round where I identified exactly where we were going to be, two meetings with the clients in the end, uh, one day of production itself, which is the filming. In hindsight, it should have been two days, we squeeze in a lot, and then post-production, usually about two days. So that's taken us essentially about seven days spent on being able to produce the whole film. Yeah, let's go for speed then. Camera speed. Okay, that's, perfect, yeah. that's great, okay, and let's go action. That's it. Yeah, card down, that's lovely. Yeah, allow those eyes to wander. Okay, back of the card. Okay, both, yeah, nice. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So seven days of work and a team of highly skilled individuals come together to produce a 60 second video. I know, it may seem ridiculous, but when you see the end result, it makes sense the time and effort that's been put in. But one key element of creating this look is the equipment that was used. It was quite exciting. We had an Alexa Mini, a um, anamorphic setup, a Ronin 2 with ready rig setup as well. So we had an operator operating that the whole day and then a lot of lighting, a lot of negative fill. So we were using flags left, right and center to be able to flag off light and, and put in a negative fill on, on the face. Working a lot with a catch light, really trying to get that catch light in someone's eyes because it, it really just adds that extra, extra dimension of what your shot looks like. And given that this was very kind of a magical thing, you're welcomed into this adventure, it had to be quite magical. So we tried to light it for, for that as much as we could. We were really lucky with Rosewood just being everywhere you point the camera, it's just a beautiful place. So there's a lot of light there already that we could utilize, but we were pretty much creating a studio around that person. We were flagging everything off. So that was, that was yeah, we spent a lot of time on every single frame. Now as a huge camera equipment geek, I absolutely loved watching them operate all of this lovely equipment. All of this is dream gear for me, so to see it put to good use is fantastic, but some of you out there could be feeling a little bit disheartened. Maybe you don't have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of pounds to spend on all of this gear. Maybe you're shooting on an old digital SLR or even your mobile phone. The main thing is just if you enjoy filming, just don't stop. Don't worry too much about what camera you're using yet. You know, we're at a stage now where I wanted that look. The Alexa Mini look just, it is unreplaceable. I don't get what anybody says. It's, a, it's an amazing camera. But two years ago, I was shooting on a 5D Mark III. And now we're, you know, we're shooting on Ursa Minis, we're shooting on uh, Alexas, we're shooting on Reds. And the key thing is, is just keep filming. I just didn't put down the camera. Gear is something to aspire towards. You can shoot some really beautiful things using fairly inexpensive equipment. And if you keep filming for long enough, then opportunities to use this high-end equipment will begin presenting themselves. I really enjoyed producing this mini-series. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well, and I'll catch you again in the next video.